Today we're looking at Hornady's Zombie Max ammunition for those zombie hordes. The particular ammunition we're looking at is for 38 Special. It's a plus P round with a 110 grain Z Max bullet. It's basically critical defense repackaged with the zombie packaging and getting on this whole zombie craze. I picked it up only because they didn't have any critical defense, and since it's so similar, I decided I'd give it a whirl. The only differences are it comes in this brass case here instead of the nickel-plated brass, and it has the neon green flex tip instead of the red flex tip. This ran about $17.99 a box, so again, a little cheaper than the critical defense. Your prices may vary. And honestly, I looked on Hornady's website. I didn't see the 38 Special anymore for Zombie Max and I don't believe they're producing it anymore, but I could be wrong. We've already put this through a chronograph. Our five-shot test led us to an average velocity of 964 feet per second, which gives us a muzzle energy of 227 foot-pounds. This was a little bit less than Hornady's advertised velocity of 1090 and 290 foot-pounds. This could be because we're putting it through a 1 and 7 8 inch barrel in a J-frame, and Hornady does their tests in a 4 inch barrel. So with that said, let's get it out to the range, put it through some ballistics gel, and see how it performs. Okay, so let's take a look here at the bullet track. You can see there was a little bit of expansion starting there in the beginning, and it gets at its widest point here. Continue down a little ways, and you can see this patch of bubbles where I didn't fully cook my gel. You can see that the flex tip was disposed of right about there, that green dot. Continue down here, and the bullet comes to its final resting spot. It does look like there is a little bit of expansion, but it did do a 180. So let's get the ruler out and take a closer look. Okay, so we have the ruler on here. You can see at the one inch mark, you're starting to get a little bit of that cavity forming, a little bit of expansion there. We're going to carry on down here, and about four and a half inch marks, you start this big temporary cavity. That is going to measure just about two inches at its widest point, just a little bit under. And that main stretch cavity there is going to run from the four and a half inch mark till about the seven and a half inch mark, so three inches, which isn't too bad. Continue down here. You can see at the 12 inch mark is that's where it has dis dropped its flex tip and the bullet has come to its final resting spot at just under 14 and a half inches there. So some decent penetration and let's pull this bullet out, get a final weight for you and see how it expands. Let's quickly look at that wound cavity, that temporary cavity that was formed around four and a half inches. So I've cut the block in two. You can see here, this is one side. It measures three quarters of an inch at its deepest point. This one measures an inch and a half at its deepest point there. So just really cool to look at. I thought it was very interesting. Um, so what's going on here is basically it's a temporary cavity from the energy of the bullet passing through, expelling that energy, stretching the ballistics gel. Some of it comes back, some of it doesn't. Shouldn't really be a deciding factor in handgun ammunition because this really isn't enough energy to do a lot of damage. Uh, most books refer to it as about the equivalent of a bruise. So just thought I'd look at that really quickly and uh, just show you what it looks like. Let's move on to bullet weight. So the final weight of the bullet is 109.8 grains. So the widest measurement here is 0.455 inches. Out of the four measurements, I got an average of 0.407. My final thoughts on Hornady's Zombie Max are at 14 and a half inches of penetration. I was very happy with that number. As far as expansion goes, I would have liked to see a little bit more expansion. The pedals did not fully fold back here. As you can see, there's still some kind of leaning out there. It wasn't bad, but definitely wasn't great either. Recoil was very manageable for a plus P round out of a 15 ounce J frame. It's definitely something I wouldn't feel bad about carrying. However, it's probably not going to be my everyday carry ammo. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you don't, leave a comment and let me know why. Thanks again.